press in the, the, can the, the green key will stop the ringing. They now have the option to press done. In other words, they acknowledge the call and they're going to do something about it. Or they can hit call and it will call into the nurse call system. So you can do that. Call is on the it's just going to call my buddy, but go ahead. And from the point they hit call, it's kind of acting like a phone now. So when they're done, they would just hang up as they normally do. Yeah, you're just going to hit one. So normally you hear the patient would answer. Where's my beer? Yeah, pass it on to the next Okay, can I just can I just clarify that particular piece right now? Because you're telling them that they have two choices. They can press done to get the call to stop, mm -hmm. or they can press call mm -hmm. to actually speak to the person. Mm -hmm. So what we want to do is called. discourage the shutting off of the ringing without interaction with the, the patient. So what you really need to tell them is press call so that they have information from the patient as to what they what their needs are, as opposed to don't bug me and shut it off, which believe me does happen. Um, so use the call. So your training is to press call. Now the other, the reverse of that is that if they're on a call into the patient's room and a phone call needs to get through, they'll get a busy signal. They will not get call waiting. What about another bedside? How many bedsides will be on each phone? Thirty-six. No, uh, how many will be covered by a phone? I guess it depends. Oh, on the it depends. It depends. It depends on the severity of the so uh, illness. So anywhere be, between five to seven. They could be on a call with a bedside, and another bedside rings through. What happens then? They'll get the same sort of thing. Oh, okay. The call yeah, waiting. You'll get a message waiting. Yeah. Call yeah. waiting. Call yeah. waiting. Call waiting. Yeah. Okay. So no matter what, the orange button hangs up. I'll see you in a bit. Mm-hmm. So, so even if they, uh, sorry. oh sorry, I was going to oh. say, even if they didn't hear that second call waiting beat, as soon as they hang up, that second call will automatically be going through. Yeah, in another two minutes. In a two minutes, and then they have to just answer it. What, the, what if they have two calls waiting? Is they talking? Well, when you finish with the one, the second one will be there. You never lose Three the calls. calls. <laughs> you can send a message or something? Uh, no, in the system they just queue up in the system. So you'll you know you get one ring and then you'll deal with that, and the other one will it stays active in the nurse call system. So the nurse call system will constantly be sending messages every two minutes out to the phone. So as long as you actually deal with it, the next one will come in. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, I mean, the, the nurse call is in charge of that, so even if the phone dies or loses signal, as long as you turn the phone back on, eventually the nurse call will then, you know, in another two-minute time lapse, will send a message to the phone again. It's not until you uh, hit the done key or call into the patient that it will stop that from happening, that cycle. The fact that um, the fire alarm now has been mandated to go through the nurse call system. Um, it's like that throughout the whole hospital. So if there is a fire alarm on a particular unit, everything stays the same, including the fire alarm message going to the console on that particular unit. So when that happens, the fire alarm is deemed to be priority. Nurse calls will not go, will not be seen on the console, but we've uh, designed the system so that it bypasses the console and goes to the phone. Okay. So that is another reason why they have to carry the phone, because if the fire, it's me, it's me, but it's me. The fire alarm will stop the console from receiving the information or logging the information from the bedside, but it will automatically shift over to the phone. So that's important for them to know. And I had asked the fire department to do that training and they've put it in our hands. So now it's our responsibility to let the staff know. So yeah, what you're saying in a fire alarm condition, the console won't receive nurse call messages, no. but the phones will. The phones will. So it really doesn't change the training, no. it just 
No, but so they the need to know that the importance of having to carry the phone with them. Yeah. Absolutely. 